sacrificial lamb. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. When day breaks, you too will join our covenant to share in my holy blessing forever. Your, uh, your boat's sinking. What are we, in chapter four here? So we need to go find another boat, because this one sank. <laughs> Condor one to roost. Do you read me? Condor one? You've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Won't let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Bruised out. We already know that guy's dead. Had to be done. Had to be done. Alright, so this is a goofy ass. I mean, it's... I feel like this is the first attempt that Resident Evil 4 does... Makes in order to try to be a true horror story. Because up until now, it is... Seems to have tried to be more of a... Um, action horror. But having these guys, like, slowly whisper, very loudly whispering, <laughs> this chant in the darkness, and it's a narrow environment, you can't see too far ahead of yourself, it's actually kind of creepy. Whereas most of the game is more of, an, like, an action horror kind of thing, as opposed to being true horror. This is the room I came out of, right? Yeah. Freaky. Jump. Twisty son of a bitch. All right. So the flash grenades, when those things come out. Those become um, very vulnerable to light, which is why you don't see them during the daytime. They only come out after the sun has gone down. And they're very weak to the flash grenades. It either with the more powerful enemies causes significant damage, or it outright just kills them in the case of that one that I just took out. What is this place? So even though the flash grenades will are useful against other enemies, because, you know, you can just sort of blind them for a second shrine it's better to use it against same mark from the church it's better to use them against the ones that have erupted out of the necks of granados that you've damaged already it's the lake yes the lake and it marked a bunch of locations that we can do stuff with Old Way Shrine Key. That is something useful. It's going to unlock a lot of the little locked boxes that we've run across so far. So this key is going to be useful for a little while. Gold Chicken Egg. Ooh.
All right, so we have a functioning boat. So we can go out and about, including over here, which is actually where the shopkeeper is. Now we've picked up that last snake, so we can go and sell that to him right now. And we can up uh, repair our stuff. I've got something new for you, man. No, you don't. <laughs> Will that be all then? Antique pipe thing, viper. Ruby's all rubbish. Perfect. You're a real professional. And what did we get? Okay, so we don't have enough to get our exclusive upgrade ticket yet, but we're getting there. We, we only need like seven more. Herbs, we do. Heal a man. Kill a man. And they do it all good as new. Time to repair. That's good work, if I do say so myself. Where would it come back any time? All right, so that's... We don't really need to do anything else here. Although we can use the Way Shrine key on something, and we do have a small key, I think, that we can open this with. Brass pocket watch. I'll sell that to the... Shopkeeper next time we come around here. But this is a kind of a semi-open world environment that we just stumbled into. Not a truly open world in the sense that, like, you have a bunch of different options, things to go to, all of that kind of thing. But one where, um... One where you can go and... Explore the area, find secrets, that kind of thing. Run over these barrels, gather some extra items. What is this space right here? This is nothing. This is just a something for the way shrine key and just a couple of extra items. This is absolutely not necessary for us to be here. But, of course, you're going to want to do it because if you like selling things, Splendid Bangle, you want to be here. Anything else? Doesn't look it. could go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Just continue to smack these barrels out of this underground river. Because it gives you a little bit of money each time. Because that makes a lot of sense. Then, more or less, go back to where we were before. Because... Oh, okay. So this is the... Up oh, is that the final? Blue medallion. Now, I don't have all of them yet. I have one more hexagon piece to find. I'm going to go back into that cave I was just in because there's something in there you have to do. At least I think you have to do it. It's not next to the shopkeeper. It's down a little bit further. Here it is. So you need to get two heads, two statue heads. One open. Uh, can I craft bolts? Yes. Or at least I'm fully loaded. The stealth as much as... You asshole, man. Make sure we get everything in this area before we move on. 
because I think I'm going to be leaving this area and leaving this area like hot. This thing's going to be chasing me out of here. Ah, let's fuck it. Let's do this the hard way. Oh, he's got a grenade. He's got a... What? <laughs> All right, this is getting out of hand. Why not use the shotgun? This is what it's for. <laughs> nice hat, dumbass. Okay. I think I might have cleared this area out of enemies already. But let's take a spin around. That opens up my exit. Wow, dude. It's a good thing you have a hundred of these uh, hatchets on you. Shit. Oh shit. Next. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to kill the enemies and I'm going to solve the puzzle. Where are you? Throwing your frickin' dynamite at me. You douchebag. wrong with you? They dead. Is that really so much to ask? <laughs> Alright, I think I got everybody. So there's a couple of icons around here. Got this one. That you gotta, you gotta input them into a, a thing. You have this one. And there's a third one out here somewhere. You gotta see it from this side. That one. Uh, where is... Here it is. So... That one? That one? And was it... That one? Uh, 
Or maybe I'm got maybe I have it backwards. Yeah, that was it. Now this is necessary because you need the apostate's head. Ew. You people are nasty. What the hell's wrong with you? At least you weren't mature enough to bust out of his neck. Yes, I'm missing a few more bolts again. But I got what I need. Now let's get the hell out of this section. Of course, there's other stuff we can explore. Uh, we do need one more head in order to complete this section of the game. Oh, you know what? There's a the treasure I didn't get back there. Let's just do that real quick before I move on. I want to get all. I want to get as many treasures as I can. I'm not gonna sweat it too much if I don't catch something, but I would like to get as much as I can. So there's something dangling from the roof up here. behind me the other way. Is that it? Yeah, I'm looking at it. I just can't see it. There it is. Ah, that wasn't worth it. And there's some bolts over this way, but I don't know if I can collect them. Fired them into a wall, no doubt, and then they're... Oh, nope, I got them. Still lost one running in here. And it just sort of... Oh, you know what? It says there's handgun ammo out here. Could always use more handgun ammo. How did I miss that? That wasn't even what I was looking for. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so now for real, let's get the hell out of here. An interesting way that they have uh, in this section of the game of having you retread over areas that you've been. And a place that we can go to, which is optional, is the sort of lakeside town or shack or whatever when we first ran into Luis. So we can go back there and there's a door that we can unlock and that will... That will um, get us a special encounter with some enemy, new enemies. Alright, let's collect that. Got the big mouth Billy Bass here. And that thing takes up a lot of space in the inventory. There is a little lakeside farm here for some fucking reason. Do you like chicken eggs? It's a good place to be. Brown chicken eggs, white chicken eggs, chicken egg, uh, gemstone, gold chicken egg, that's what I need.
gold chicken egg as part of a quest from the shopkeeper. And we have a cave here we can go into. And it's another one of those quests for the apostate head. So we need to get in here, but we need to find the right... So the three snakes. Remember, three snakes. Remind me later, because I'm going to forget. Um, this pattern here with the snake, the helix, and then that little swoopy job. And then that one with the three things facing each other. Okay. Oh, good. Go that way. So, three snakes. Um, helix with the thing here. And then this triple job. And here is the other head. Blasphemous head. Rifle ammo. Box to kick. Full of money. Ooh. Ah, hexagon PC. That's the last one. And I don't know why they feel the need to give you an exit up here, but they do. Anything forgotten? Oh, expanded map treasure. Ruby. I guess that's worth it. Time to go. Two more things, I believe, are on this lake that we want to see. One is this boat in the middle. Now, this lake is not very large. It is definitely not something we'd have a boat this large on. But, you know, it's here for some reason. And I think you found a weapon on here. Although I'm not sure we'll see it in this um, gold bar. I think you found a weapon on here. But I don't think I'll find it in a new game plus. Because essentially it's a weapon I've already collected. And either I'm carrying it or the shopkeeper has it. So it's not uh, something you're going to give it to you twice. Uh, one last thing. Oh, oh, uh, stone pedestal. Let's go and take care of that. I got the hexagon piece that I need to open this door. All right, so this puzzle isn't quite as complicated as it seems. What you just got to do is minute. You can only change over one item at a time. So you want to go and get the pieces to where you think they should belong. Although you got to get an image picture in your head of what the uh, image is supposed to look like before you can really do any of that. And I don't... So, yeah, that definitely seems like this is the way this is supposed to be. Yeah, look at that. All right, so looking at that, I could say I got to get this over here. All right, so I got that section set up right. Now I need to get this. There we go. Ba-boom. It's not as complicated as it seems. You can only really move one item into a position at once at a time. Uh, the Praved Idol, is that something I can sock it? No, it's worth 15000 though. So that's a nice penny. Nice bit of money. All right, the last thing I am aware of on the lake. The 
The last thing I'm aware of on the lake to do is head back to an area that we have already been. Can I get those fish? No, I can't. <laughs> because I have a key. In fact, I have two keys that are useful over there. I have that idle key, or not the idle key, the, um, yeah, the, the insignia key, and I have that weird box-shaped key, which will allow me to open up a, it's over here, lakeside settlement. There's just some barrels I want to run over on the way. Oops, missed it. So, I've already been here. In that house is where I'd run into Louise in the basement already. So, I want to... I guess you can see through trees, can't you? Asshole. Stay dead. Alright, so this... Old Way Shrine Key, that's what it's called. Pearl Bangle. I wish I knew what you're saying right now. The insignia key will get me through this door. Now, you got to be careful on your way out. Because there are some new enemies here. Now, I believe this is optional. I don't have to be in here. Gigantic fish. I already got that. And there's a thing here. Ah, alright. I guess maybe you could call that being worth it. Something was mentioned earlier on in the game about a couple of tourists having gone missing. And we had seen one of them executed, uh, rit ritualistically executed, in the beginning of the game, the opening cinematic. And that would be this girl up here. I guess they just left her out here. And the other one, they tied her up and cut her throat in the basement, I guess. For some damn reason. It's also one of them little statues to destroy up here, but this is impassable for some reason. Other than that, I don't think there's much up here for Leon to worry about. It's just a little side extra if you, in case you want to see it. Although the game does punish you for, for coming here. Oops, where am I going? We got some zombie dogs in this space. Oh my god! Come at me, bro. You really think you're gonna make it? Ah, shit. Next. I 
The dogs at least won't follow you in here. Maybe this guy will. Idiot. Yeah, the game punishes you for going in there a little bit. Oh, another dog. <laughs> <laughs> 